Namaskara, I am Dr. Harihar Murthy. I am an ENT specialist practicing in Bangalore for about three decades now. Breathing, as long as it is effortless, unconscious and spontaneous, is not a problem. When this is affected and one is unable to breathe with comfort, without effort, then there is a problem. Invariably, people who have got breathing difficulty do not have a good night's sleep. The reason for that is when the nose is blocked, the mouth automatically open and allow them to sleep. So when one is unable to breathe, the oxygen levels are going to drop. And when there is a repetitive reduction in the oxygen levels, patients will have the concomitant symptoms. Now why does this oxygen level drop? The reason for that is the inability to naturally breathe from the nose is something that reduces the oxygenation of the blood because they are not breathing adequately. And when the person then starts breathing from the mouth as in a case of a person who is snoring, then the person is breathing and as a result the oxygen levels are normalized. After a point in time, the person is not able to keep the mouth open because the oxygen levels are adequate and then the mouth closes because that was an emergency bypass that happened. Now when the breathing stops and the mouth is closed, after a point in time the person has got a lowered oxygenation and that causes the brain to get kick started again to start breathing and again the person starts snoring. So a person who is not able to breathe comfortably invariably is snoring and breathing from the mouth as a result of which they are actually getting adequate oxygenation. So it's imperative to understand that the breathing that is effective in a person who is not able to breathe from the nose is through the mouth and that doesn't happen spontaneously and continuously. This cyclical stoppage of breathing that happens because they are breathing from the mouth is what causes them to have cyclical drop in the oxygen levels that are affected and the oxygen levels going to the brain. So the person is not having a good night's sleep, is not having a restful sleep and a restful sleep is critical for you to have normal functions in the day. That said, if you are not having a good night's sleep, if you are not sleeping well through the night for about 7 to 9 hours each night it is going to impact different organ systems in the body. One of the important organ systems would be the kidneys as a result of which your BP will rise. So the blood pressure rising in a person who has got breathing difficulty and is not having good sleep is something of serious concern. People who have got repeated sleep apneas are very prone to have type 2 diabetes so the rise in type 2 diabetes sometimes can be attributed to one of the factors being sleep disturbances. The other thing that has to be taken very seriously is the increase in coronary artery disease. So ischemic heart disease, coronary artery disease is one thing that has been seen to rise in people who have got sleep apnea problems. So, a good night's sleep is something that's very critical, not just to be fresh in the morning, but to make sure the other organ systems in the body are functioning well.